Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. OJ's back, along with me and Son of Beast and of Mephone. It's time for the second game of Chicago Bulls and the Sixers. This is like a devastation of the end look here. With the start of the show of Chicago Bulls, they know they can definitely have it through with all the pressure they need. But I think the second game can be another way to get right through it. So, let's see how well they can do here for the Bulls and Sixers. James Harden, Tyrese Maxim, Batiste Feibel, Tobias Harris, and of course, the process of Joel Embiid. My take on other sides, Ayo Desimu, Alex Caruso, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Nikola Zucinic. Let's have a one quick matchup here to take another one at Wells Fargo Center of the second game. Let's begin. A brilliant look here, Wells Fargo Center, and of course with OJ, I think he really likes that Philadelphia place. Well, quite for me, honestly, but I'm pretty sure this could be a very good tier too. Maybe. It might be a very nice idea if we can go for an hour. Here's Allie. Ryan, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Thank you so much, your Ali. It's, it's some great stuff. So let's take a look. And the lineups are being occurred as the key matchup has been released here on those guys. With the players that really have it all, but definitely need it here. Embiid and the ever player of Vucevic are the key matchups in the center. Billy Donovan and Doc Rivers are the head coach for each team. It's pretty enough to be hard, but most of all, you got to know what you have here. I'm pretty sure it looks like this could be the uh, series tied if the Sixers can win again. So, let's see how well they do for the second game. Because the first game was shocking. Sixers wins the ball, and we start now. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's Harden, only scored his couple timings at from the other uh, team, but most of us have proven effort. It's Wes's takeaway moment to be on the other hand. Embiid up, two points released, and this will be a first bucket for Embiid. Starting here for tonight in game two. It's a lot of great work here. Much being pressure, pleasure out, but some most of the, most of the day at time, it can be very good too. Two on one, Harden. Wow! What a jam! And Harden with the one hand dunk. One hand dunk, you bet. I bet this was the uh, extendable run. And Darius Maxey, of course, he's got a great use. DeMar DeRozan against Harris. And it's Embiid blocking the shot. What a stop here for, for the process to be taking around the other way. Here's Harris. Finds Feibel. Dish off to Harden. Back to Feibel. For three. Count it. First three-pointer here for Batiste Feibel. It'll be through first three-pointer of the game. It's now 7-0 run. Levine against Feibel. Takes it, takes it through. Vucevic with the screen. Marta Rosen misses off with the shot. And coming up with the loss against Boston, it's seven point in the regular season. Turned out to be just very low, but not quite enough to get right through it. It's very, very difficult. I'm pretty sure we, we're, we might be seeing a player that can get there better. But my lifetime can be very hard. Joel Embiid takes a second bucket here for the night, and it's 9 0 run. The seal almost broken up. And it's recovered by Feibel. Feibel's got a great good here for the steal. Pretty sure he's got it really well in it. Harden right to Maxi. Backs it over to Feibel. 
with the two. In and out, Firebolt couldn't make the shot as Harris takes the rebound. Over to Rosen, that goes in now. The first two-pointer goes to Tobias Harris, it's 11-0 run. The Bulls are on a slow start in the first period. They will call a timeout here to start. Yeah, that's a great call. Because uh, because of the offense is not looking too good here. It looks like they have an all been reached out and they're gonna need to try to find another way to get in a run. So it looks like it's very tough for them to score. Big here, big setups here, always make some changes out there. For the Sixers, they already have won the NBA Finals at 2K21. It was a blast to be putting up a win in Game 7 against the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, that was a great game. And all the pressure that takes here for one single time for last season, it was all hands on Joel and B. The process really got a great use of it. But his regular uh, playoff game was not enough for them as they lost against the Atlanta Hawks in Game 7. It was very tough for them to try to make a win. But I think they it can be a difficult choice, so I think they'll have to be played here for next season if they can try doing it better or not. New changes being released in with the goals on the offense. Here's a look at Nikola Gusevich's past week and this season. 10.7 is not quite what I was looking for, but 17 was just only up for him. He tried to work his way on the run. Over DeRozan, and he makes a drive. They will now have it on the board. DeMar DeRozan has his first bucket here for game two. Here's MB. They will move it over for the Sixers with the ball. Back it off to Harris. Round the basket, round the board. Over Lucy Dutch and England, number two points for Joel B. Six points releases, and it's 13 2 run. What a nice run. His play is just going big and square. DeRozan, Caruso for three. That will push the pressure up on the board by eight. Caruso has his first three-pointer in the game, and this will now be assist by DeRozan. Embiid right to Maxi. Back to Embiid. Fade around it again. Number two pointer for Embiid, and it's eight points in that run. What a great shot for Joel Embiid. It is most talented effort to be very, very comfortable too. Oh, the Rose didn't have that done. And this one is up inside with a defensive breakdown on Sixers. Yeah, that was very tough for him to give them another try. Most of them, they're not really, they're not really compared by, by the first game. If they wanted to give it all, they've got. But now, they need to step it up a more. Fievel, right to Embiid, and another great pass by Fievel. It's Embiid, 10 points, right with the bull score of seven. Does the move, looking inside, he goes up, makes a shot here, that's another two-pointer for the Bulls. Does the move, takes his first bucket. Of course you want to get a right angle. I'm, I'm pretty sure this could be very tricky for him to make a setup score. Maxi right to Harris. Over to Rosen. Another miss by the Sixers. It's the Rosen with the ball. Harden on him. Levine in the corner. Levine going in the paint. Over Harden. And once again, no connections made for the Chicago Bulls as it's now a 17-9 lead for the Sixers. MB over to Maxi with the buzz beater. Almost, but it doesn't pick up right away. Great first quarter for the Sixers to start off. Oh, what a play. And it's 17-9 run. We'll be right back after this. We got the second quarter coming up right now as it's 17-9 run. And as for being being recalled with all the game, it was all hands on Allen Iverson, but he has definitely played here. Amazing game that he has always played. I'm pretty sure we are a legendary here for Allen Iverson. I'm betting him. I respect him the most of all, and that's all hands on him. That's what he can play for. 
White finds Levine, and a great shot here for Levine for Neobo. And it's Kobe White, the legendary of University of North Carolina, with the assist. First out of bounds call turned to be the Sixers, and it's now first turnover on the Philadelphia. It'll be Chicago ball. Not too close here to make this coverage here, but that's a little bit change off here as they are going to play against the Toronto Raptors for, for real. But now this will be change off the walk. And now the slam dunk is on Williams as this will be turned around the other way. 17-13 run. MB finds Harden. Back to the off to Green. Back to Harden. Back to MB. Over again. And a two-pointer makes a carry. It's 12 points for MB. The process of MB is doing very good. A lot of hard, uh, hard work in Define, but now I'm really to know is, what can I go with? White against Harden. White scans the floor, finds Thompson. Goes up, rebounded by Yang. That will be his first rebound of the game. Great shot here for, uh, for Joel and B with a drive. That's what he can go for. And he has gotten great use of his speed. White against Harden after the turnover released on Philadelphia. Inside and lost control. No dunk for Kobe White and it turned out to be the other way. Wow, really shocking. I thought that Kobe White could make that dunk. But he really got turned out too soon. Court miles for two. Rebounded again by Thompson. That will be the first rebound here for Chicago. As Thompson will have it on the board. Green. Another miss by Chicago. Only 303 remaining. It's 19-13 run for the Sixers. Lead by six. Harden. Scanning the floor. Back to Niang. Right to Green. Great ball movement for Philadelphia. Six on the shot clock. Harden. Good with a heavy contested shot. And he's got it in there. Harden is doing a lot of moves out there. But, but it only happens to me with sometimes being short. It's very not difficult. Levine makes a three, and they are just putting up another three-point average for the Bulls, since they already won in the first game. And this happened again. This will be on the Bulls ball. And just checking out for James Harden, this is what his points per game turned out to be best. 36.1. 2019 to 20. That was his opportunity. He made a great play on his use. Now here's Levine. Levine on court boss. Trying to work inside. Finds Thompson. And the first foul is called on Danny Green. First team foul on Philadelphia. And that will be Tristan Thompson heading to the free throw line. Shooting two. With all that control this of this ball, you can't make a mistake here with those two guys. One of a player has to get a rejection out of it, and the other player has to get some rebounds. Not really well enough, but they really got to go here. The first free throw gets away, and it misses off the target. The new group chugging changes are being released for the Bulls and Sixers as all five players checked out. Jones Jr. and Dozmu are checked back in. Five players are checked out, and five players are checked in, except for Maxi and Danny Green. The second free throw couldn't work for him, and he missed both free throws at once. Yeah, it's very tough. It looks like he wasn't ready to play here. And it was very tough to play here for the Cavs. But all of a sudden, it's now two hard for the Bulls. Harris, court pass for three. Good! And it's George Yang making the first, first three-pointer as they are extending it up. Welcome to the game, George Yang. What a great, what a great drive. Caruso answering back the three, and they are just Try to close the gap in tight. Maxi right to Millsap. Back to Harris. 
Harris on control passes to Maxi. Now he wishes off to Yang. Yang passes it off to Harris. Five to shoot. Green over the drive and it's fouled by Alex Caruso with the first team foul on Chicago. They stop the clock a minute and 16 remaining. After Danny Green foul, this was all happened for the free throw this season. Because yeah, it looks like the Sixers are really doing a great job here with the free throw line. But we are unsure who will have the most to stop their record here. If they are trying to make it from fifth to first, or fourth to first, third to first, or second to first. I I'm not sure who's going to be. Green hits the first free throw and a new changeup is being released as DeMar DeRozan will check in for Thompson. And it's Baptiste Feibel checked in for George Yang. The second free throw for Green on Green Mark. Here's Dasamu, only scored for two, nothing for his career yet, to go for another two-pointer or three. D. Rosen, Vucevic inside, fade off, no good, and it's the rebound by Harris. We're under a minute left here to play in the first half of the game. Millsap, in out of traffic, and it's Vucevic with the rebound. Great defense and control for Vucevic, and he's just gotten a little bit much better. He really has it all, but for his most of the time, it can be very unstoppable for this guy, for the player, to keep it going. Maxi back to Millsap. Back to Harris. Millsap first answers the screen. Inside, and cut! DeRozan with the foul, and they are adding a little bonus of a measure for Millsap. And the six of teams are just going crazy here for the second game. And now Paul Millsap will head to the free throw line to shoot one. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And Millsap answers. Delivers off the free throw and he has a three points for his game in game two. Does the move on the Rosie. Finds Caruso. Caruso goes into the side of the paint and dunk it through after the Rosen's assist. Caruso really got no choice to go anywhere because of all the players, they are all going in there. Players going in, going right to left. He has it all. But his own average can be very tricky. And deep three, it will be shot with a short run. 29-21. Great first half of the game. We're looking for an hour to keep on by. Let's stand in to check on courtside by Allie. Well, thank you guys. Doc Rivers here with us now. Coach, you're ahead at the half. What was the difference? We got stops throughout running a little bit. Uh, and then we had great space in the midst of zone. But, you know, listen, we still have like shots. That always happens. It sure does. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thank you, Allie. After we'll be right back after this right break. Great first half here so far. And let's have a recap one more time of Sixers and Bulls. Here's how they did for the first half statistics. That is it for now. Let's go back to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. And if you're tuning in for the second half of the game, we'd like to welcome back here at the Wells Fargo Center. This all turns out to be Don Joel Embiid for the process of denying, guys. Yeah, I guess that Joel Embiid's doing really well. His most timing average can be very tricky, but not for all of his run. He's like on double effort. He is going to do it again here for tonight. 
And now here is Dasamu as we all set for the second half of the game. Valley Truna is inside. Rebound of IMB. That is number three in a row for Joel B to make the process go alive. Harris right to Harden. Harden passes up to Harris. Backs to MB. Fades back to Maxi. Maxi in the target. Back to Harris. Three to shoot. Harris making a drive, and it's all on hands for Tobias Harris. Second bucket of the game. Really just turned out to be just quite incredible. Does move right to Caruso. Levine for three. Fires from deep, and they will go back again to take it from the ever lane. Zach Levine really knows he can try to like, keep an eye on this struggle, but his face-to-face -face courage can be very, very hard. You don't want to mess him up here just like you did. Harris around the right. Rosen, and it will not be a deflection. Tobias Harris with six points in the game, and it's now 33-24 lead. Levine on Harden. Bounce pass, Vucevic, and he had it made it in time before the foul was released, so he couldn't get there in time. It was very that tough. I don't think that wasn't very good enough, but that was very tricky. Bible, oh my, that's a great three-pointer in the game. They've done a great job. 3.20 left to play in the third quarter. Now Levine against Harden. A little swip off here. DeRozan screens. Shot going really well. And it looks like Embiid will have to call timeout here with 3.05 to go. They will fix it on offense and defense for the Bulls when we come back after this. Looks like a whole lot of ties to be bringing up here for tonight. I guess that all turns out to be Embiid and the teams. And there are some new changes here for as for Niang, let's check back in for the other team. And right now the other team that will happen to be doing is Cork Mods to come back in the other direction. And this happens again! He has stepped out of bounds and he gets off with control. And just a one great mobile one block by Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is doing a very good job out there. He's doing a lot of pressure on all this work and it looks like he's doing very well. A lot of great hustling muscling out there. They are doing a lot of work. Now here's White. Dish it to Lake Levine. Inside Green. Oh, reverse drive. You can't make the layup. Thompson which Thompson resets to Levine for three. That is good. The three-pointer outside is keeping it going for Levine. Levine score is not the only way that you really wanted to do. But you got to get there in close up before you can get, take it that far. Crook buys revenge is on Levine and says, "Not this time. He is back in the field range." Crook buys delivers the first bucket, and now Levine will have to try again from taking top to bottom. Green Thompson scores and drips a layup. It will be Green with the assist. They're just doing a lot of much that they can, but that is just very hard to get hit at impact. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Harris right to MB. Inside, Thompson, up around, he makes it in. Another two point for MB. It's 14 points. He's going very conscious so far. He really didn't want to uh, take the rich on them, but he now does want one. Williams finds Thompson, and a great pass by Williams. That will be Thompson with a layup drive, and he going for another one. Harden trying again from the top. He finds Niang. Back to Harden. Moves over to Embiid. Embiid back to Korkmaz. Korkmaz goes to Harden. Dishes up. And he can't make another two-pointer. Number two point conversion is definitely a very hard going layup to drive the drive. But most of all this encouragement out there, it gets things a little bit very tough. But it won't be enough for him to keep an eye on him if he wants to go for it again. MB right to more court bars. MB back pass to court bars. 
He goes right to Arden. Straight inside. Dunks it again! And James Harden is delivering this. This man could go for a killer. The killer is picking up another great drive in this game. I'm pretty sure that the fans are going to love him. Green outside. Covered by Harris. He's still on him, getting a good transition. Chicago moving the ball a bit. Levine for three. That's at number triple for Levine. And they are pressuring it up high. Drug pressuring up high is very, very considerably to go down low. But you want to just try to maintain your position. You've got to go right away. Yeah, in controlling over is Harris. And B back to the pork boss. Five to shoot. Yay. Up with the shot. And left drive. It's no good. That's the end of the third quarter. It's 42 38. Close call in between the range, but I think the fourth quarter can be a finish. And we'll be right back after this. So don't go anywhere. Fourth quarter is next underway after this. Now for a chance for the state promises to begin. And I'm glad that the, the players really does have it a lot more challenging. With all its achievements, I think that was a great pass here by Tobias Harris right to Millsap. And that was very, very accused of how Harris could do it in their way. But now he's doing great here. And if you're just joining us, the second half of the quarters ends off with the fourth quarter to play the game to finish the game. Right now, Sixers are at 42 and Bulls are at 38. We start now. Millsap almost tipping away with Doc Lucing in the ball. Green for three. Fires! He connects. Danny Green hitting the three pointer and it's 45 38 game. Look at that. Your average is definitely the, uh, it's very different. And I am expecting to see what they could do here if they could go for another attack. Niang on Caruso finds Millsap. Moves back to Millsap. Mamaxi. Cuts in. Millsap back to Bible. Just six on the shot clock. Green fades back. And hits short. He couldn't make the three-pointer, but it was off loose. It's not very good. It's very hard to make a setup track. And it's not going to be very enough score if you're going to keep the guys on him. Dosimu making another three-pointer out there. They're getting a close one to call. But not for long. Millsap makes us layup. A great pass off to Niang. I'm pretty sure that Niang can definitely try things a little bit much better. I think that the back pass was just no option. Now the reach and foul has been pulled up on Danny Green with a second personal, a number team foul on Philadelphia. Jones Jr. in the corner. Six to shoot. Caruso for three. And that fires inside. That goes with a three ball game to trail. It's going to be very necky the next shot. It's very tough for the score. You've got to go right through it. Because if you don't, yeah, the other players are going to tie the game up and then go right into overtime. Niang back to Maxi. Shoots up. And it's no good. Another miss by the Philadelphia Sixers. Does the move. Passes off to Caruso. Caruso to two, and I will drive in there as this will be a one ball game for Trailing for the Chicago to trail. Now he dish off the green. Way back is the end. Right to Millsap. Moves it along with a new changeup. Fiebel. Pass up to Maxi. Over Dosimu. And a miss. That goes with the Vucevic with the rebound. Jones Jr. in cover. Finding pursuit. In the lead is Caruso. Oh, wow. Caruso really does that one show. 
and as off, temptation can be very challenging. This timeout is called now, next on Philadelphia Sixers. With 2.07 to go, it's 48-47 ball game. I don't know what to take to think about, but that was just very hard. Now, I'm not really sure if you're betting this one because this is the next last matchup here in between the third seed and the sixth seed. And of course, as always, we are expecting to see what they can do here. If they wanted to give it all, they have got. Not really sure what it is next, but you get the idea with the fact if there is any other choice to make the decision go wide off on a uh, gamble again. But it may be a very tough solution if they are looking for any players to try to make a map off. The knockoff run, it could be very challenging. The difficult decision to say is that the Sixers really got to get back in under control. If they don't, then the Bulls will have a win in 2-0 lead. New guys play in the game as this one goes out to Alex Caruso. And one thing about Alex Caruso, his ultimate time shot can be just way off. But moment of that time, if Alex Caruso, he was, he's never got a chance to make his game become a New Balance player of the game. It's all on him, but his shotting effort ability can be the only time to make it rain. Now here's Harden. And we are now down to two minutes to play in the second half of the period. And he lost the ball. It is turned over into Chicago. Oh boy, it looks like the fans are not happy. They really got to like step things up a bit because if you don't get there on time, well, the ball knocks in your hand, that's on you. Levine, pass to DeRozan. Now Harden, Rusevich up. Takes the cover. Maxi trying to go for the steal. Caruso extending. That's good. Caruso hits the free ball and it's Vucevic with the assist. Oh wow. Look at the crowd. They are all in stud motion out there. Harden making the drive and this is now 51 49 game. Now this is close. Don't get me wrong with that one because all the players get really excited about but they now got to try to try to stop the pressure. Saved me by Harden. I think the last block was turning out to be Tyrese Maxi, I Matisse Feibel, or Joel Embiid. We're not really sure what it is, but it, it's very difficult. Harden, Harris, gonna lead. It's knocked away by Dazimu. Dazimu on the attack. Blocked the pass by Harden. And me holding up tight is Harris. Now Harden goes right forward. MB with the ball. Back to Harden. Embiid, no choice to look for. Open look. Harris, can he make it? Yes, sir! What an amazing game. It's now a one-point lead for the Sixers. Oh, wow. This is all I've never seen it before. The Harris is just a crazy, crazy shot. And a bank shotter, you got to count it. Timeout called by Chicago with 33.9 seconds. And guys, this was a, a intense run in between the fourth and fifth seed. What is your reaction here, guys? <laughs> I, 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 can't, I, I can't agree on this one. But it's very, it's an amazing game on this, this so far. I'm pretty sure that, that we all know the, the players that they play very hard. I'm pretty sure that the Sixers, they really got a lot much better. And without playing game one, it was very not hard. It was not that well enough to get there in the game. But, you know, it's our feelings. You don't have to comply about that one. I agree with OJ. All the players can definitely make a count buckets and one. But now, this can be comeback score to make the victory. Both teams have one timeout left. Now this goes back to man to man. DeRozan in the corner finding Levine. Levine in the attack, in the paint, dunks it across! 
And a timeout is called by the Sixers. Look at that transition out there. Levine is just going right in the paint. When this score on run gets there in trouble, they get the feeling. Now we're just another, another look on offense. We will make one more change here for, for the Mavericks to pick up here on offensive set. No timeouts for the Sixers. Next one goes for the, the, the last timeout on Chicago. Only 23.9 seconds to remain in the middle of regulation time. Shot clock is turned off. No shot clock violation will be on for the ball game. Game two is getting a bit outstanding out there because all players definitely got hydrated up. They are looking for dynamic duos out there. Pretty sure they are. Once they get things in Trump, Trump motion, we know it's going to be on down the wire. Now for the last change up here for the Sixers. And here's Harden. He will have it all set up. Finds Embiid. Embiid. Try to work a run. Fade. Harden. Lead. No good. Caruso. I mean, the, the only man for himself gets to be on the foul call on Embiid. And the last timeout will be on the Wolves. Oh, wow. This changeup is really extending to me. Have shockable moments out there. I don't know what to say about this one, but this is all it takes it out there. Just a bit more soon. 6.4 seconds to remain in a regulation time. And now this will be a very tough score to keep your eyes on. No changes were being used, and no timeouts are given up to be raised on. They will have to stop the clock with a personal foul on MB, and they'll does move well, into the free throw line to shoot two. The first free throw is good. If he make, makes the next one, then it might be a Top rebounding on the board. And he makes a second. If they tie it, then we're going to overtime. Harden to tie it. Oh my goodness! They tied the game! That means we're going to overtime. Wow! I don't believe this one. <laughs> this is like the craziest game ever. Unbelievable. And so this all comes down to the second game of the overtime. We'll be right back after this. It's been an outstanding year for the game as it is now 55 to 55. This is about to start things in the postseason of overtime. Sixers and the Bulls. And we got the Bulls win. Let's face it on with the last look, first look of a game in the season, of the postseason of overtime. Most of the overtimes I've always seen here was the Timberwolves and the Hornets. And of course, the other, and the other, uh, other hand was the, was the best play to make a phenomenon of Pacers and Nuggets. Harris can't make the two point conversion. And now Levine with the ball, he's going to go in. Oh my, you bet that would count it. And it looks like Zach Levine is going to make the process to go right down it to try to upset their teams in a defending champions of the NBA 2K21. MB inside, got it. And it's still tied it up again. And the timeout's called by the Bulls. There's 2.08 to go, it's now 57 to 57. One thing that accepts me in, in most of all the postseasons of this game is all that hard and our hustle rebound with the force drive. Not really sure what they're gonna have to do here, but they are gonna need to make the make the average a lot bit higher, and they need to push the pace a little bit more. 
This can be very tricky because of all the players, we know there's only five turnovers on the Sixers and three on Chicago. And only two blocks remain on the Sixers. Nothing for the Bulls. It was only the heavy contested shot, but that was all it take when this all happened with every player of this season. To the postseason of the playoffs. No changes have been released yet, and now this will be a new changeup look of a substitution for Kobe White to help him out. DeRozan against Harris. DeRozan is a force jumper. No good. Two minutes remaining in the overtime. Those players can really be deafened up a bit. They're a little bit, they're a little bit wounded up. Harden, back to Embiid, right to Maxi. Maxi for the lead. Yes, sir! Maxi helps the team make the lead in his first time in the NBA playoffs. What a play showing run. Your effort is putting up a great run in pursuit. Oh, Lucy Bitch gotten tricked up on Embiid. And it says, nope, nope, can't go that way. He got me only tricked. If I block, then I could be in trouble. Well, he knew it right away because of all, his moment of effort can be very, very tricky. For him to try to make a good setup. And now for Lucy Bitch, he is now putting it up well. Hard it up. Shot for two, no good. White going to take the lead. Levine for three. He cuts that. Levine takes his first three pointer in overtime and their 62 to 59 score. A minute left to play here for overtime. Right now it's Harden. Back to Fievel. Now he just off to Maxi. Screen on Harris. And B going for three. And he doesn't hit that time. Levine is putting up another record on this rebound of his career. They try to face him up forward. And another two for Lamar DeRozan. Here's Fievel to Harris. And Embiid will get the shot right in there. Double man. And this calls a jump ball on Embiid and Vucevic. Nobody has definitely got a call here on jump ball in overtime, but this was ever happened to be this one. Chicago wins it, and this will have to be Maxi with a personal foul, and that all sends the ropes. Chicago is putting up another win here in game two. And he makes that one. That will end it here for the Sixers to bring up a devastation of the run. And the Bulls are putting up some pressure here to make the clinch to beat the team in game two. That's one. And if he makes a second, it will be all over. That's it. Zach Levine hits that one. Timeout is called by the Sixers. What a disappointing effort. Wow, I was expecting that it was going to be a close call. Because the teams really have it often, they were really on a dominated run effort. They are pulling up a show. I'm pretty, I'm pretty shocked because of whatever happened, because of all that happens here, they are really pushing the pressure. It was very tough for them to make a quick changes, but not for long. It, it all turned out to be very badly with the Sixers to be losing that franchise players like Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, and of course Andre Drummond. The player was definitely no, no longer there and that was very disappointing. Both teams with one timeout of Sixers and up goals. Now here's Korkmaz going up. No good. And that will do it here as as Jones Jr. will have the ball, Jordan will keep the ball in the bound. And that will end the game. The Bulls extend their series 2-0 in the series of the playoffs. They are going back to Chicago for the third and fourth game. And wow, it was a devastation. 
the Sixers lose the streak here, and they need to find a way to get to the third game right at the bottom of the line. Now we send it over to Allie LaForce. Allie. All right, thank you so much. Butch, it's got to feel great to just get a win. How important was this one? to know if you keep your head down, it'll pay off. Thanks so much, Vish. All right, Ali, thank you very much here. Me and Phone, along with OJ, we like to thank you all for joining us here of the Bulls and Sixers. They will be playing at Chicago against the Bulls in game three and four, and will return to Philadelphia in game five for, for this game, if necessary. Now it's time to present the three star players of the game, starting off with you, OJ. Let's give it a go. Thank you very much. Now, starting off with the third star, number three is going for Joel Embiid the Process. It's 16 points, five rebounds, and only two blocks. Just got a great, good control using the momentum out there to give it a run. It's all on him, but we know for the process, it gets things much better. Let's send it off to me phone for number two. Number two, this all goes out to Alex Caruso. 18 points, one rebound, and three assists. And that was your New Balance player of the game. Two dunks. Turned out to be just like that. And I don't know what to call for him, but he never played with the Lakers. But now his new team can be with the Bulls. Now let's see your take on number one. All right, the number one I gotta go for is Zach Levine. He only has gotten two dunks so far. One dunk, and then the other one in overtime. This was happened here again. And this was 23 points, one rebound, and two assists. Just like that before, Zach Levine is going to push the pressure if the team wins over the other team. And that will do it. So thank you all for watching. And we'll see you all again for the next last two games of the season, postseason of the NBA playoffs in game two, as it will be the Nuggets and the Warriors and the Raptors and Celtics. Make sure to tune in for the next game, which will be happening here on Thursday and Friday for the other time to make it go wild and crazy for the other team to play. So, that for being said, me, me phone, and OJ are gone. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. I'm out of here. Good night for the brotherly love of Philadelphia and, of course, the Chicago series.